Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Alright, I have been busy since the last episode. I'm actually recording this episode for the second time, just because I wasn't happy with the way it turned out the first time. Alright, the Orberry Farm, the Iron, Copper, and Tin all have 15 Orberry Bushes. I also upgraded the gold to 15, so I just have the lead and the silver to go. Alright, I put my strainers over here. I have one for getting resources like this, and then the other one to get these resources. I did a bunch of exploring to get fairy dust and pixie dust. I managed to get four totems. Alright, with these, basically you right click and then you can select this and put it over and you can get a permanent buff. All right, it costs you XP, which is here. This would cost me 400 to put luck on my character and I can go up to three levels. I only get one from this one, all right? But there are also different levels. The white ones are the tier one, yellow is tier two, blue is tier three, and purple is tier four being the rarest. All right, and you can see how much fairy dust I got here. All right, so today's episode, I want to do storage. All right, and I already, like I said, recorded the episode before, so some stuff is already made. Can't be helped. All right, and I did say I was going to make the bed next episode, and I went ahead and made it. All right, but the first thing we're going to make today is something called a shelving unit. It says, place down this blueprint to see the multi-block pattern. So if we look, it's just any kind of paper and iron bars gets you this. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to right click where you want this and you're going to see this. Now if you right click it again, it says found air expected iron grate machine block. So those are these iron grate machine blocks. The recipe for those is stone surrounded by four iron bars gives you four of these. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going to take those and you're going to fill in these spots. Just like this. Oops. One too many. Now once you have filled them in, you right click on this block and it will finish the multi-block structure. That looks pretty cool. But what you're going to do is you're going to take chests and right click. And you're, you can just hold it down. Then you go to the next shelf and the next shelf. Now what this does, you might want some more space there just because of being able to see that or wanting to be able to see that but I don't know it's up to you so basically you're gonna open this now this down here is the first shelf second shelf third shelf so what I can actually do is I could sort if I wanted to let's say the third shelf would be plant the second shelf would be animal and the third shelf would be mineral so you know iron rods that's mineral all right, so back to plant, the orberry bushes could go in there. And you can also search. So if I type in lead, only things with lead in them are going to show up in here. So it's almost like an applied energistic system, though it is smaller. It is limited. Um, I think it's one, two, three, four, five double chests per layer or something like that. All right, and you can also use hoppers to input to this. But... If you do, you need to realize that if you put a hopper on the this block here would feed into the top shelf, a hopper here would feed into the second shelf, and a hopper here would feed into the third shelf. So that's one thing that you need to be aware of. All right, so let's go and look at quests. All right, so we're going to go back to the main one, and I said we'd do the bed one. It says, with grass seeds and bone meal, I can create tall grass. Breaking it should get me more seeds. I found some hemp seeds. With it, I can create string, and with string, I should be able to make a bed. All right, so I already did that. Now, one thing I did notice, and if anybody knows the answer to this, I looked online, and I can't find any information about it. So if you know, bedrock rift. I was like, what is that? says world gen 0.39% chance and it can generate an exoria and exoria core and exoria underground so i don't know what a rift does and i'm really really curious 
It'd be cool if it was like, you know, a, a mob spawner type thing. But I definitely plan on doing some digging around near bedrock to try and find one of these and figure out what it does. I'll probably end up dying in the process. Alright, so with the totems, you can combine four of those and get a random one. But I had a yellow, a blue, and two whites, and it wanted to give me a white one. And I was like, well, why should I sacrifice rare ones to, you know, or ones that are more rare for ones that aren't as rare? Alright, so I did make a backpack. Alright, and let's grab this this and this whoops and we're gonna go over here and you can see yeah we got crafting stations now I'll show you how to make those in a second all right so if we do this and this one two th oh they're individual they don't stack all right empty this out now if we open up the backpack if you right click with it in your hand or if it's in your hand and you hit E it's gonna open up your backpack all right, now if we put these in here, these backpack pouches, if we right click, they will add a row. You originally start out with three rows and you just right click like this and yep, you can add five extra rows. All right, so the recipe for the pouches is like this, plant fiber and plant cloth. Plant cloth is nine twine and you get two plant cloth, all right. And I need this out of my hand so I can open my inventory. The recipe for the backpack itself is plant cloth and a weighted pressure plate, which is a gold pressure plate, which I should say is made with two gold plates. All right, so I like where we are so far with the episode, I think, because we got a lot accomplished so far. All right, so we're gonna need some wood and some sticks and I'm gonna make more of these just so you can see. We're gonna make crafting tables like this. Put them in here, two crafting tables, two sticks, and this gives us the workstations or crafting stations. All right, and we can put those down. These things will retain your items and you can do vanilla crafting. I am so grateful. Like I did not realize how much of uh, a good thing it is to just be able to just stick the items in the grid like that and not have to click them in. I mean, adds in a lot of depth, but I'm glad that we can actually get rid of it. All right, so the next quest was for, all right, making chests and crafting stations. I now have gained some experience as well in how to store and craft more efficiently. I should use that to my advantage and improve the crafting and storage situation. So we did that. All right, now for the large storage. I have a lot of some resources and don't even need them right now. Maybe later. I need a mass storage for those single items. I have two basic designs in mind. I have to decide which one I like better. For right now, I like the barrels better. All right, so, oh. And I should say that that was a basic drawer and an item barrel. So we made those. That is done. All right, collecting. I also have some ideas how to get some basic automation. The wooden hopper is not good enough anymore. I have two upgrade designs in mind. I bet both will be useful for different situations. The vacuum needs to be activated with a lever as I want to disable it if needed. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go five iron plates, five lead plates. We're gonna grab a couple chests. All right, and like this, oops, should make a hopper. And like this, should make an item vacuum. Now the item vacuum, if you put this on the side of a chest or hook pipes up to it, and give it a redstone signal, it will actually pull in items off the ground. So we don't need this backpack pouch right now. We'll throw it down. It got pulled in and it's now in this chest. So I can sit here like this and it's actually got quite a good range. I mean, look how far away I am. I'm throwing them over here and they're just getting pulled right in. Now this thing does have a limit to how fast it can pull in and my strainers can't keep up with it. 
That's one disadvantage to it. All right, so we got that done. Now, basic auto crafting. Ooh. Now that I have discovered a better crafting table, a further simple upgrade might allow me to auto craft. This is very limited, though, still. I need to put the crafting components in inventories based on their pattern on one side, and for the output, I need another inventory on the other side. Then I can start the process with an active lever. I can also use the blocks themselves instead of inventories, but of course this in world crafting would then only work with blocks and not with items. There is also an upgraded version which crafts slower but doesn't need in world crafting. Okay. So let's try uses for this. Whoa, 3,648. Yeah, we're structured crafter. All right. Structured crafter is a wooden gear in a crafting station. One, two, three, four. And I'm going over those crafting tables again. It's a force of habit. All right, let's craft that. Put that down. Oh, okay, I think I see how this goes. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm, may have to mess with this later. What happens? Oh, I'm like, where'd it go? And I'm like, oh, I know where it went. It went all the way over here in the vacuum. The range on those things is a little bit annoying. I wish you could toggle it or change it. Auto workbench. All right. Workbench. Auto workbench is a stone gear and one of the things that we just made. Uh, let's see, cobblestone, five cobblestone, I believe, is how you make a gear. Could be four, I could be wrong. Nope, stone gear, there we go. One of those and one of those. There we go. Come on, register. There we go. Ooh, auto cobble gen. Yeah, we got time. With a piston, I might be able to create a device that is able to break cobblestone in a cobblestone generator. It will still break them apart into rocks, but at least it is automatic. Why would I want that? Of course, I guess I've got tons of clay anymore. So let's see, breaker was it? All right, mm, I'm gonna need piston. Pistons are cobblestone, wood slabs, tin gears. Yeah, we can do this. Let's see, we need this lever. We need, let's see, it was cobblestone, tin gears, and half slabs. Do I have any more levers? I thought I had more levers. There they are. All right, cobblestone. Tin gears. Let's see. We can just go click, click, and there. And what was the remaining thing that we needed? We need lead plates and iron plates. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Come on. Four. Two of those. Oops. I need three of those. All right. All right, there we go. We now have this. Hmm. Lava there. So let's go. Aha, I got it right. Wow, surprising. Now, does this place this way or the other way? Okay, so it places backwards. So let's put this down right here. Aha! Now this won't actually place more because this is not an actual cobblestone generator. I explained that before with the pick. Alright, that's done. Compacting drawer. Ooh, let's go ahead and do that. 
Compacting drawer is going to be a drawer, two pistons, iron, and smooth stone. So we can do that because I should have the drawers. Hmm. Let's see. Basic drawers. Oh, that's one by two. Hmm. Actually, we're not going to have time to make the compacting drawer. I'll just do that off camera. I think next episode will probably be the sifting. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.